afternoon and welcome to MPTV2 live from the Moor Park Studios. This programme has been filmed, edited and produced by 25 children in 24 hours. We're in live production as we speak. Coming up tonight, we interview the headmaster about geothermal energy and falling fuel costs. We find out about the build-up to Christmas. On the sporting front, we bring you news of netball at the Elm. And we say happy birthday to one of Moor Park's youngest residents. All this and more on MPTV tonight. Christmas seems like a long time ago. But just to give you a reminder, Edward Bloomfield brings you this report. The good. The better. And the simply not interested. The low school play had it all. The main school traditionally starts with Christmas dinner. Which tasted wonderful. At last it's cabaret time, the moment these girls have been waiting for. Things hot up even more with the traditional Christmas party and disco. Even the staff enjoyed themselves. Did you see their gleaming faces? Yes, I did. However, it's not all turkey and crackers at Moor Park. Sometimes we have to dig deep. We sent a reporting team to the Interhouse Cross Country Competition. This is the Moor Park Interhouse Cross Country with a quick warm up and then with a big cheer from Salway. Mr. Sports Martin briefing the course so the runners know where to go. Staff can't wait for the race to begin. And they're off. A row of smiling faces excited to greet the runners. I bet they were glad when that was over. Absolutely. Now, we go live to our special correspondent, Freddie Fullerton, who is talking with Philip Dunn, our local MP. Do you enjoy being an MP? I guess I do, Freddie. It's, it's great fun. It's great fun representing Ludlow, which is such a wonderful place. What do you like best about being an MP? The best thing at the moment is that we're starting to beat the government, and that's great fun. Uh, the next best thing is we have even longer holidays than you do at school. <laughs> is there anything you don't like about being an MP? Well, I have to go away quite a lot. I have to do four days in Parliament and three days here. So that means my life's a bit split up, and that's a, that's a shame. But uh, no, I'm really enjoying it. It's great fun, thanks. Is it possible to stop Ludlow Hospital from closing? That's a really good question. I think it is possible because the Secretary of State for Health said on Tuesday that she wants to make our community hospitals used more. And I, that's given me a lot of hope that we will be able to save it. Thank you, Mr Dunn, for talking to MPTV this evening. Thank you very much. Next, a story about a teacher. We talked earlier with Chris Wright, who is a new teacher here at Moor Park. Chris used to teach at a school far away, in Kenya. Mr. Wright, what are the main differences between Moor Park and Bangor? Well, there weren't that many differences, because they were both prep schools and both good fun to work in. Bangor was a day school, so the school day finished at 4 o'clock, which was a bit shorter than the day here. But otherwise, they were much the same. The main difference for me, though, was the chance to go on lots of different school trips. For example, I climbed Mount Kenya with Year 8. Gosh! What was that like? It was very exciting. The top of Mount Kenya is about 5,000 metres above sea level, so much higher than anything in this country. And the weather was always fine and sunny down below. But three or four days later, as we neared the top, anything could happen. 
And did you see many wild animals in Kenya? We saw lots of wild animals in Kenya and down south in Tanzania too. We saw lots of elephants and lots of buffalo. Um, we often went camping and saw lots of ostrich and heard hyenas in the night. And there were lots of animals that lived at school too. For example, there's a family of warthog who lived on the playing field. On one occasion, we had a lion in the playground. So lesson three had to be extended for an hour because none of us could go outside. Gosh, that must have been very scary. It was very scary, very different. And if you could bring one thing back from Banda, what would it be? Oh, it could be so many things, but I think probably the weather. Mr. Wright, thanks very much. Thank you. Now, back